Noah here for American Trucks. Check out the Bilstein B8 5100 series rear shock for a zero to two inch lift on the 2019 and newer four wheel drive Ram 1500 without the air ride, excluding the Rebel and the TRX. Whether you're lifting your truck or just sending it down the trail at stock height, you're gonna to wanna to maximize its on and off road performance with an upgraded set of shocks. Now, if that sounds like you, then this shock from Bilstein should be on your radar. So you know you want really good on and off road performance. Now one of the best ways to really get a responsive yet comfortable ride is to go with an upgraded rear shock that's designed to work in conjunction with the suspension lift like one of these from Bilstein. Now the B8 5100 series rear shock is designed to give you some more on-road comfort if your ride is soggy and disappointing and a predictable and responsive off-road experience that you can push really hard. Now this specific shock is designed to go on trucks with no lift to a two inch suspension lift so you can put it on when you're stock and run it preemptively before you put your lift on. Moving on to construction, Bill Steen is one of the best brands out there, so you can expect these to perform very well when you put them to work. The 5100 has a self-adjusting deflective disc valve that allows for independent tuning as far as rebound and compression goes, so you're always going to get comfortable and responsive suspension performance over any terrain. The piston shaft underneath this boot here is 46 millimeters in diameter, and it's designed to hold up to some serious impacts. Now the body that that shaft feeds into is made from aluminum, so this won't rust even in the worst environments and on the saltiest roads. Shock absorbers have a huge rust problem, and that's usually the death of most of them. Now with an aluminum body, you're safe from rust and you won't have to worry about it. Then just keeping everything minty fresh, everything has a clear anodized finish, which is going to ward off any corrosion from crud that gets chucked up from your chunky tires or something like that. This shock costs around $160, and just to clarify, these guys are sold individually. So if you're sold on the shock absorber, you'll need to grab two so you can have one on each side on the rear. And there's a lot of research and design that goes into Bilstein products, and you can expect top tier performance and quality even at a price that doesn't break the bank. This shock has an install difficulty of two out of three wrenches and about an hour for your install time. Shock absorber installations usually aren't overly complicated, but they can be kind of difficult just due to the nature of the job. Now I guarantee that you can get the job done. Let's head over to the install bay and take a closer look at that install process step-by-step step and you can follow along. Tools required for this install include 18 and 19 millimeter ratcheting wrenches, a 21 millimeter wrench, an impact gun, a ratchet, a 21 millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, and a pry bar. What's up guys? Today we're installing a rear shock on our Ram, so let's get started. So our first step is to remove the four eight millimeter screws that are holding in our fender liner so that we can gain access to the top of our shock. So I've got an eight millimeter socket on a ratchet to get those out. Next, we can grab a 21 millimeter socket and wrench to remove our lower shock bolt. Next, we can come back up top and grab an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench to remove our nut. And then with our nut removed, we can remove our shock. So now we're ready to install our rear shock. The first thing we're gonna do is grab our bushing with this little nub on it and our sleeve and press that into our bushing. And then we can grab our shock and put our first plate on there, followed by that bushing with the sleeve. So now with our plate and our first bushing on, we can slide that into our mount. And then we'll take our second bushing and plate slide that on and then we'll grab that new locking nut included with our shock and thread that on and we'll just leave that top nut loose for now until we can get the bottom of our shock into our bottom mount so now we can get the bottom of our shock into our mount 
And then I'm gonna get a pry bar to pry up a little bit on our shock to be able to get our bolt through. And then we'll thread our factory nut back on the other side. And then we can take that 21 millimeter socket and 21 millimeter wrench to tighten that down. Now we can come back up to the top of our shock and take a 19 millimeter ratcheting wrench to tighten down our nut. And now once you have your shock installed on one side, you can do the same thing on the other side. And now the last thing we need to do is reinstall our fender liner. So we'll slide this up into place. And then we can start threading our screws back into place. And then we'll grab our eight millimeter socket to tighten all of these down. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Bilstein B8 5100 series rear shock for a zero to two inch lift for 2019 and newer four wheel drive Ram 1500 without air ride and excluding the Rebel and TRX. Thank you for watching and for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.